So we look at nu nuclear energy. And there is no way to talk about nuclear energy without leaving out the great Albert Einstein. This equation was responsible for what we know today as the atomic bomb. This equation showed the relationship between energy and mass. So what Einstein was able to discover was that during a basic reaction between reactants forming products, that change in mass that occurs from reactants products, that change in mass results in energy. He was able to work it out. So here's all we have. We have here that the energy is equal to the change in mass called the mass defect by the speed of light squared. So this was known as the energy mass relationship. How do we find, well, we all know C. C is the speed of light, and the speed of light is what? All right, three by 10 to the power of eight. Remember that? Three by 10 to the power of eight meters per second. All right, so we have the speed of light, and we have, the, we have to find our mass defect. What is mass defect? Mass defect is a difference in mass of the reactants and the product. It's always very, very small change in mass during a reaction. So all we need to do to find energy in any reaction is find the mass of the reactants, minus it from the mass, minus the mass of the products from it, and then multiply it by the speed of light squared. Very simple. But the problem with these calculations is that these calculations have very, very small values. So the values of mass are like in the minus 27 titties. So what they do is they write something called the atomic mass. And the atomic mass, which is 1u, is equal to 1. Point, okay, have it in the example, 1.6605 by 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. So because the values are very small, we use a new unit called the atomic mass. Okay, so how do we find the energy for a reaction? Let's take a look at this example here. Well, if we look at this example, the, this reaction is a hydrogen atom reacting with a, a neutron. Hydrogen with a neutron gives you this atom plus gamma radiation. Okay, so these are the masses in atomic mass of the hydrogen, of the isotope of hydrogen. And now it's an isotope, same atomic number but different mass number. So this is an isotope of hydrogen, um, a neutron, and this is the conversion. And the question is, how much energy is released in this reaction? So we all know, see a reaction, what we need to use is E is equal to mc squared. So the first thing we need to do is to find mass defect. To find mass defect, mass defect is the mass of the reactants minus mass of the products. So the reactants are what? A hydrogen atom, 1.007825, plus a neutron, 1.008665, minus the mass of the product, which is only a, this is gamma, right? Gamma has no mass, is a ray, and a helium, sorry, a isotope of hydrogen, 2.014012. Try to do this all at once in a calculator, right? The value that you should get when you work this out is 0 0.002388U. Problem is, we need to find everything in this correct SI unit, so we must convert. So we multiply by 1.6605 by 10 to the minus 27, which will give us a value of, try to be exact as possible because the energies are very, very small. 3.965274 by 10 to the minus 30 kilograms. There's no need to write this down really because it could, you, you could go from this step to this step in the calculator straight to get the answer. So therefore, the change in E is equal to mc squared, which is this value here, 3.965274 by 10 to the minus 30 by 3 by 10 to the 8 squared. The number one mistake y'all in doing these questions is forgetting to square this. Okay? Please remember to square it. As I always tell my students, there's a, there's a value that always, is always around the minus 11, 12, 13 range. So when you work this out, the answer that you should get is 3.57 by 10 to the minus 13 joules. Right? Let's look at it quickly. Balance the equation. Have some questions may have to balance it first. Make sure it's balanced. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 0 is 1. Good. 
find the change in mass, mass of reactants minus mass products, right? Find it in, you'll get it in U, multiply it by the conversion to get in kilograms, then multiply it by the speed of light squared. Please don't forget to do this. And when you work it out, you get this answer. If you get something positive to the, you know, big values, that, 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 that the definite, you know, you, you know, you're wrong. So therefore, look for the range minus 11, minus 12, minus 13. That's generally what we work with. Okay, so that's it for nuclear energy. Um, there are two types of reactions that we look at. We look at nuclear fusion and nuclear fission. Fusion is where you have two small particles joining to form one, like in the sun, right? Like what the reaction that go on in the sun. Or fission is where you have one big particle splitting together, two small particles, right? So you have fusion and fission. You also need to know about radioisotopes, their uses. One of the uses is tracers, um, treating cancer, carbon dating. So all these things you should read upon. And, and that basically takes us to the end of the of nuclear physics. Okay? So thanks a lot. And I hope this benefits you. Any